guys welcome back to my channel my name is Bina Kereke if this is your first time here you are welcome please subscribe before you leave and give this video a big thumbs up I make videos about faith travel and lifestyle from Yenegua by also states Nigeria and I also talk about some social issues sometimes societal issues because as much as I'm a spiritual being obviously I'm a social being also and um, when something concerns me concerns nigeria or concerns where i live i just like to sometimes come on here and give my two cents i believe that is why i have this platform that's why i have a youtube channel to just come and always just drop my two cents on like what i think about certain things so yeah before further ado let's dive right into the video so please before we really get into the crux of the matter can we give a shout out to my skin though hey i'm blinking like yes i'm literally glowing like what now God, the creature. Ah, this is no makeup, no foundation, no powder. The only thing on my face right now is sunscreen, and even that sunscreen constantly like, is small because my sunscreen has almost finished. So I'm managing like you guys. Okay, no, I'm so sorry. I'm talking about something important. I'm so sorry. I goof. I goof so much. It's a disaster. I'm sorry. Back to what I really want to talk about. I want to talk about Davido's uncle Billy Ademola Adeleke. That's Davido, our popular singer. That's my fave Davido uncle his father's younger brother winning a shoe state gubernatorial election and what it signifies as a nigerian to me what it signifies to me i believe that um Ademola's win is a hope for the common man that's that's just the way i see it because i think he's the first is the first um candidate to, to defeat an incumbent in nigeria i'm not talking about the whole legal state situation where the party wasn't given to an incumbent um what was that other man? I've forgotten his name. So how many years? Just four years and I've forgotten his name. Wow. Um I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about an incumbent going to the polls in a gubernatorial election and then losing. See with Nigeria, governors are like the the cream de la cream. Governors are the bar fathers. If you're if you're enjoying, you know, they're like the bar fathers of elections. They are the they are the ones that dictate what happens in the election. So for you to defeat an incumbent, it's not being so I'm not talking about Golok Jinata. The Lojata pretty much just gave up the seat because he didn't want violence because there was Boko Haram and all of that. Whatever. Just don't get into that. And I'm saying Davido's uncle winning the election. And this is what it signifies to me. First thing that this this win signifies to me as Nigerian is that our democracy is maturing. So like gradually, gradually we are getting there. That the, 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 there is no more a dictatorship. It's no more. A, it's no more a one man show. If you want to win the election, you actually have to put in the work. You have to be a people's person. You have to be loved. People have to see. People have to see that you can deliver. People are getting involved. Dem democracy, no, what democracy is? There's government of the people by the people for the people. And in layman's, de layman's definition, that's what democracy means. So it's to the people actually, the populace are getting involved in the voting process. Are getting involved in choosing their leader. And it's 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 just it, it makes me so happy. It makes me really happy that we are maturing as a nation in our democracy our democracy right now is how many this for this um fourth republic or the democracy is 23 years is retired in 1999 so 23 years and we've we've had so much hitches so much flops so much mishap and all of that but then seeing this um win from um ademola deleke what is telling me is that okay we are, we are getting there like little by little our democracy is getting there and i'm all for it all that thing that this win signifies to me is um uh, less voters apathy and a voters apathy means people not wanting to vote people not wanting to come out which is almost sim um, similar to my first point but you know how people say that ah, the votes not account they don't really matter honestly see I mean, if the vote no account then there's no way they're going to give you money to, to buy your votes there's no way the only reason why they're giving you money to buy your votes is because those votes count so there's less voters apathy because the people people turned out to vote and then guess what 70 percent of the turnout was was um youths it's just beautiful usually for used to be older people older people used to have the majority of um, the voting population but um this time around the youths are awake so a second generation after answers we are here we are speaking out and we are not just talking the talk we are walking the walk like we're going out there getting our pvcs getting our 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 permanent voters card and then we are going there to vote so it's it makes me happy it just shows that there's less voters apathy youths are more youths are getting involved in the electoral process youths are coming out to get elected youths are coming out to elect their leaders we're not just living things in the hands of our old parents and grandparents anymore we are actually deciding our fate, knowing that whatever happens we are the ones that are going to be alive to see it because we are the future we are the ones that are going to be here with our children and our grandchildren to to reap the benefits or the fruits 
of whatever that happens in all of these electoral processes. So we are getting involved and it's a scene of joy. I'm here for it. Like it's giving. Mm, it's giving. I'm here. I'm here for it. Like I, I love it. The next thing that this win signifies to me is that INEC is getting better. INEC is the Independent National Electoral Commission. They're in charge of elections in Nigeria. And over the years, we've seen INEC not do so well. INEC has done poorly sometimes but with every election that comes by you see that they're increased they are doing better there was um less rejection of cards by the um this machine the uh, election machine now so even some people that couldn't get accredited by the voters the machine they got accredited by their the list so people got accredited and people voted so all those, all of those hitches i said oh the machine for this word no they work the machine for this like the card readers the card readers most times didn't used to work but this time this time around it worked most as in there was very few complaints of card readers not working and all of that so even the few cases that couldn't that their cards couldn't be read they got verified through the um, the manifesto the slip and then they voted nobody was disenfranchised you know things like that all of those things coming into play just ah oh, it makes me happy and the election do you know what I mean? they are transmitting results electronically so there was, there, was, there was hardly any need for violence or mishap, no snatching of ballot buses, all of those things. But as soon as the team wrote in and British County, nobody's carrying the results and the results sheets all the way, traveling down kilometers. And then you come and will let the person by the bush side and they will not see the results. There was, no, there was nothing like that. You stay in your polling unit, you finish voting, they will count and then they will transmit the results ele electronically. We are getting there. We are getting better. That's how this election was conducted, this Oshun State election. I just shows that INEC is really improving, Nigeria is improving. These are, these are things that some countries have been doing for years, more than 20, 20 30, 40 years ago. They've been doing it, but I mean, it's better late than never have been. So what we are getting, there, like we are coming around to getting this election thing right. Our democracy is maturing. We are getting things right and I'm here for it. I'm like, I want to give it to my children in, in Nigeria that works. I want my children to know that things work. Election, you can have a free and fair election. You, your voice can be heard, and nobody would um, disenfranchise you. Nobody will steal your votes. Nobody will, I, you know. So I'm here for it because I'm so pro Nigerian. I mean, if you have been on the channel for a while, you know that I'm not of the Japan state of mind. I'm not Team Japa, so I'm very happy that this is happening. All of these improvements are happening in my lifetime. Uh, yeah, and I'm here for it. So. That's what I wanted to say. That's what I believe. I believe that this um, Ademola Delicate's win is a hope for the common man, is a hope for our 2023 elections. What we hope to see the free and fair elections, the, 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 the turnout of people, less voter apathy, and more youth getting involved in the electoral process, and just us deciding our fates. All of these things are things that I hope to see even more in 2023 elections. And I make doing better, obviously, doing even much better than they did in this election. So yeah, it's it's a hope for me. It gives me hope, it gives me joy. And I'm happy that things like this can happen in my lifetime. That's what I wanted to say. And by the way, I wanted to add it also that it's my favorite uncle, so David. I'm Tim David. I'm Tim David. So our uncle name be governor. Uncle um Osho is the first state that I traveled to outside the South South. For those of you that don't know, outside Bayasa and Rivers, Osho State is the first state I traveled to when I was twelve years old. So it's quite important to me. It's quite dear. It's the first, my first long trip that I saw hills and mountains and sand. I saw different, a, a total difference from where I'm used to. Ocean State was that state, and yeah, it's really, it's really dear to me and important to me. I have some very important people in my life that are from Ocean State, so I'm happy that you guys, um, you, your voice, your voice was heard, your vote was counted, your choice was made, and. Uh, was respected so i'm still talking too much at this point i should end this video now <laughs> thank you guys for watching until i see my next video guys please remain good god bless you